Hi there, the week is almost over, so let's talk about his biggest wins in the last September episode of our Big Digital Healthcare Digest. We love IoT devices for diabetics, even help building some ourselves. And it's heartwarming to hear that Actist has received two CE marks. Actist is a diabetes care device with eSIM technology that simplifies diabetes care. It's a toolkit for everything needed for people with diabetes that allows checking blood glucose, take insulin, make notes and set reminders. eSIM tech enables sharing health data and real-time monitoring of patient state. Certification will allow Actis to push the smart care device forward on markets of the Middle East, Southeast Asia and 30 European countries. And it's kind of awesome because diabetes is a huge issue of population health. Good to see it addressed so neatly. Amazon moves deeper into digital healthcare, launching Amazon Care, a virtual primary care solution. The program will be available for the company's settle based employees. It will bring together telemedicine, chats with nurses, meds delivery, and in app calls to the employee's office or home. Amazon partners with the local Oasis Medical Group's clinicians to make it work. So rumors are on, and they're not building a secret hospital. Their solution also isn't recommended for emergencies, because it doesn't work 24 7. We still have no clue what Amazon is going to do in the healthcare industry, but we aren't scared by it. As they say, replace the fear of unknown with curiosity. <music> FDA granted clearance to buy a bit patch. It's the first among its kind in FDA approved devices list. Biobit patches allow remote monitoring of blood pressure, oxygenation, and heart rate, and other vital signs. It works continuously for up to 10 days, transmitting health data to the Biobit app for clinicians to see what's going on with their patients. It's also available on hospital workstations as they aim to improve care in and out of medical ward. It's amazing how regulations are changing to accept new devices, and I'm glad it's happening. See you in October.